Alright, hello everybody and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. This is episode 2, where last time we began our journey into Lothric, which was absolutely amazing, um, checking everything out. A very passionate, <laughs> very passionate walkthrough of the Cemetery of Ash, and then uh, the new Firelink Shrine and meeting all of our lovely friends um, who, were, who were hanging out. And we've made it up to the High Wall of Lothric, where the last thing, uh, the last thing that we did actually, uh, was we got the blue tear stone ring from Grey Rat, um, of the Undead Assembly, I think that's what he said he was from. Got Grey Rat giving us a ring to give to Loretta uh, at the bottom of the of the high wall, so we'll have to we'll have to look into doing that um, when we. Uh, when we get, when we figure out how to get down to the bottom, there is there is one pathway for us to take um, that we have that we have yet to take. So we're gonna do that. Oh god! Yep. Just a reminder that I'm gonna get attacked at every corner by those dudes. I think it's, I think it's this way. Lovely. Um, I think... Yeah, I th I'm pretty sure it is, it is this way. To descend. But we've, we've done our best to do some good exploration around this area, but there, I still need to go lower down, because there's this dude that's walking around. Thank you. Deserter trousers. We never went down, we haven't gone down this ladder yet, so we got to this point and we decided to, uh, we decided to explore the rest of the world first. Okay, so that's cool. Even when we're not, um, even when we're not, like, embered, like, even when our ember isn't restored, I guess it just looks like we've got, like, a burned face, but we still actually look like, um, our character, which is, which is actually nice, instead of when you die, <laughs> instead of when you die, you just look like, um, <laughs> you just woke up, you know? What happened here? Alright, that's a hollow suit of armor, that's good. You're not gonna be picking up that axe and attacking me, are you? Okay, hello big boy. Alright. Dude, this courtyard is gorgeous. Like, look at the light on that statue. All these dead knights. Are you responsible for all of this, sir? Can I backstab you? I can! Right up the arse! Woo! Take it. Uh, just like the, uh, the Blight Town trolls. Easy backstab. Easy backstab. Granted an ember. That was a lucky timing on that backstab. We like just avoided whatever the hell that move was. Everyone has been decapitated. But like look at this look at this visual walking through here. Like this is this is amazing. <laughs> Visually, I'm so pleased with this game. Yeah, every single knight here has been decapitated. Wait a minute. <laughs> but hang on, these statues are also... 
headless, but they're holding on to a helmet. Perhaps they're not decapitated at all. Are these, ooh, are these headless knights? Is that what they're getting at here? They're headless knights. Instead of having them all been being decapitated. Makes, uh, that makes a little bit more sense, I guess. Is there someone else walking around here? I think there's someone up there. Oh yeah, someone up there, trying to make his way down to me. Um, the rapier is worse. We'll keep our broadsword. Jesus. Ultra instinct. Visually, this is such a gorgeous step up from the rest. Like, the previous two Dark Souls games that I've played have, uh... All been... Have both been beautiful. Oh, nice. Have both been beautiful. But this is just, like... Something else. Something about, like, all the particle effects and, like, the smoke and the, f like, the fog and the atmosphere and the detailed environments. This place is huge, like... <laughs> so huge. Before we go down to the bottom, we'll still stay around here. Oh, shit. <laughs> You're all weaker than the other one. How dare you even try. That's an insult to me. More green blossom. Okay, we got a lift. Naturally, you have to do that. Okay, this goes up, not down. Alright. We going up! I wonder how good the throwing knives are actu actually are um, in this game. I'm usually not good with the throwing knives because they don't do much. I can always try though. Oh, good shortcut. Okay, so this is like one of the doors that does not open on this side, and we've done that. Cool. Ah, uh, it's not bad. Like, if I need to, like, do like a desperate, like, a desperate final blow from a distance. Cool. Alright. Shortcut unlocked. That's always, like, it's always so satisfying when you open a little shortcut door and you're like, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, let's continue going down. Like, look at this! Like, the mixture of, like, the greenery with, like, the... the autumn leaves. The sound effects are great, too changing the steps of, like, when you're walking on leaves and concrete. I have such an intense respect <laughs> for, like, the world of Dark Souls. I did- why did I- <laughs> Ah! I pressed the- <laughs> opens gesture menu in the middle of a fight. No! Classic. Just opening, opening, uh, opening a gesture in the middle of it all, because why not? All right, now I believe if I travel to the High Wall of Lothric, I can just 
I can take that shortcut now. I appreciate the, the fast traveling. It definitely lessens the, like, sort of uh, effect or, like, um, relief of, um... Of a, of a shortcut, because you go, oh my god, this shortcut is so amazing. Um, and now it's more like, yeah, this shortcut's great, um, but like also I have fast travel. One thing that I'm one thing that I'm grateful for off the off the bat in this game is uh, there's no adap um, adaptability skill. <laughs> My dodging feels just fine compared to uh, compared to Dark Souls 2. This time I'm not going to open the gesture menu when I fight this dude. Just got a bonus flask. All right, so they're doing they're doing the rounds, and then there's another one. There's a hollow one down there. Right. Oh. It's so hard to sneak up against these dudes. Oh, and now I'm... Yep, yeah, okay. You're pretty aggressive. Something, something's going wrong with my. Hang on, I need to respawn because some. Hang on. I've I I noticed that this wasn't working properly. Something has happened with my shield. Yep. Something. Okay. What is that? When I'm pressing. Yeah, this is what I just noticed because I was trying to parry those guys. And for some reason, when I'm pressing the left trigger, which is for parrying, he's doing that instead. Oh, is that because it's the broadsword? Is that is this something specific to the broadsword? Let's change to a longsword. Nope. Okay. What? I didn't even know that this was a thing. Where'd my ability to to parry? Maybe I is it the shield? Can I not parry with the shield? Oh, hang on. I think it's the icon on the shield. Oh my god, it is. It is. Okay. There's That's what the icons are for. I don't think that it's pointed out here. You can't like highlight the, the the that icon. Okay, that makes sense. So if I actually equip this, I can do a special attack with my sword, but I need this to actually parry. Cool. So now I can equip both, so I can. That makes sense. So I kept going to parry with the shield the whole time, and I was doing this and getting smacked for it. But that's cool. Oh, it uses FP. Now I can't do it, right? 
It doesn't do it with the oomph. Ah, so actually, potentially, you know, you could. I could use the the Ashen Estus flask to restore FP. Interesting. This is new information. Okay. But but learning, and now I know that like, it's not. I didn't. My controls didn't mess up, which is good. It was just like. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, my controls didn't mess up. It was the type of shield I was using. I did wonder what the um. I did wonder what that icon on the shield was for. Um, when I first picked it up, because I was like, oh, I haven't seen icons on shields before. And now it all makes sense. Now it all makes sense. <laughs> that was a bit too high. <laughs> that was a bit too high to drop, sir. Why did I do that? Rest in peace, whatever souls I was holding on to. I don't think it was. Uh, okay, it's fine. It's early days. It's early days. There's r there's room for room for trial and error. All right, now where's this dude who absolutely crushed me with his hammer before? There you are. Look at you running. I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, funny. For some reason, in that moment, I was like, yeah, this is not that high up. Yeah! <laughs> Patience. Patience. I'm going to see if I can avoid the dude in there. See if he comes after me or not. He is indeed coming after me. Now that I can actually do the parrying, let's see if I can actually get the parry. I'm going to die before I get this parry, probably, because my timing is so bad. Oh, I feel like that was like right on time. Just, just missed it. There we go. I think it's definitely the, it's definitely like the faster movements of the characters. It's definitely the faster movements of the, of the enemies compared to what I've been used to facing in Dark Souls 1 for parrying. It's achievable, I just need to learn the, the timing, and I'm either obnoxiously late, or impatiently early. Oh god. They're, they are very, they're very quick though. They're very quick. Like, they're instantly attacking me after their previous attack. Which I, I respect it. It's, I respect it! It's it's pretty challenging. Fucking shield bashing me constantly. I'll take it. I don't really think I deserved that, but I'll take it. Pathway down there, which actually takes us to the ground, so we might actually find Loretta around here. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Why do I keep getting... Um, why does my flask keep filling up? Like, I, I've been noticing this. I'm just chilling out with empty flasks, so I'm like drinking from them, and I keep I keep getting it back. Something I actually really, whoa! Something I actually really like 
about this fl about the flask, by the way, is it's one flask, and when you drink from it, like seeing the oh my god, <laughs> when you drink from it, you see it like get less and less instead of like the icon remaining the same. I think that's really neat. Now would be like one of those times where it could give me a flask if it wanted, because look at my health. <laughs> I just survived that. You're a bit different to the rest. This is such a stupid idea to attack you. When I have no health. Whoa. What's with the red eyes? So you're definitely hollowed. Oh, you're, you're strong too. What have I done? 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 I, the red eye should have been a clue. The red eye should have been enough of a clue. Holy shit. This is so dumb. What? Okay. <laughs> Refined gem. I can't believe I took on that dude and decided to do that with a millimeter of, of health. A mi one millimeter health run, guys. One hit, one hit death at all times. Ooh, maybe this is Loretta. These environments are so gorgeous. I'm obsessed. The amount of detail in here. You look like you could be a Loretta. Ah, the wait has been long, unkindled one. I am Emma, High Priestess of Lothric Castle. Emma. Allow me to speak frankly. You will not find the Lords of Cinder here. They have left, gone to their journey homes converging at the base of this castle. Head to the bottom of the high wall, forge on through the great gate, and raise this banner to proceed. Small Lothric banner. This farewell gift is for you. It is the insignia of an old covenant. If you fear trespassers, Dark spirits drawn by the embers. Then etch this upon your heart. And the old Concord will beckon noble blue sentinels to hunt these foul spirits. The knights, the knights of blue. Wow. Um, also, now I have two, fl two flasks again. How does it... How, how does it keep coming back to me? Does it refill over time? Do you have to if you if you kill a particular enemy, does it refill your flask? Refined gem. All right, so it's a key, small Lothric banner. Hold up outside the main castle gate to be taken. And then a covenant item: pledge oneself to the way of blue covenant. Pale blue sheepskin parchment featuring an illustration of the moon, symbol of an ancient accord. Members of the Way of Blue are the beneficiaries of an ancient accord. When a dark spirit threatens them, a blue spirit will grant them assistance and help root out the invader. Summoning takes place automatically while this is equipped. Like, while this is equipped, so I can unequip it to, like, not be a part of the Covenant? Is that what that means? When the high wall appeared, the path to the undead settlement was blocked. And messengers came bearing this banner. They were sent out with a duty, but had no way of returning. Unkindled one, head to the high wall's base. Go through the great gate and raise this banner to proceed. But beware, the dog keeps a close eye on things. The vile watchdog of the Boreal Valley. Unkindled one, 
go through the vile watchdog of the boreal valley okay emma the high priestess so we're still not at the base yet of the wall so i'll need that to uh need to still head there to, to get Loretta. We can't take the spiral staircase up. <laughs> There's a ladder here as well. Do you see, like, this is what I was saying last episode uh, in regards to the environmental storytelling that's here. Because we're, we're seeing, like, these dead, headless knights everywhere um, that look like this. They're holding their heads uh, like this. And then there's another one here of a knight who's got his head up against a sword. As if uh, it's, like, almost like some sort of ritual to, like, remove their own head to become part of, like, a Headless Knight Legion. And whether that's true or not, and it probably isn't, but, like, whether that's true or not, like, the environmental storytelling that you can put together or, like, get from this, be like, is this what they're trying to communicate? Or, like, tell us about with these... statues? Oh. Okay. That was weird. Okay, <laughs> we got stuck and I, I thought my game was going to crash there. Um, yeah. Ah, oh, and these are the dudes from the... These are the dudes from the opening. Tortoise shell men. Tortoise shell men. They were like walking and we watched one of them like pass out. What an interesting design. They have a tortoise shell changed to their backs. And we got gargoyles as well up there. That's why that's why I'm like very very excited to, to take this one to take this one slowly. Or slower, you know, and really take in the the storytelling around us. Skill spin sweep. Do not have the dexterity for that. Can't wait to find my first illusory wall. Whenever I see ones, I'm like, you look like you'd be one. I always get very disappointed. <laughs> Get very disappointed. Ah, oh. boy. Okay, <laughs> we just gonna take turns blocking each other. these like these knights look like they were, they've been here for a long time like a long time and there's so many of them and then there's so many of these dudes definitely like raises those questions of like what the hell happened here Is this the main gate that we need to do the the banner on? Where is um where's Loretta then? Hang on, there's a dog, right? I need to be careful about a dog. 
Or is that going to be after? Okay, maybe Loretta is on the other side. Something tried to bust through this gate. That's like a growth. Yeah, the dog, right? The dog? We were warned. It's an armored dog wielding a goddamn mace? <laughs> what? That's not a dog, that's a beast! That's not a dog. Vort of the Boreal Valley. He's got a mace! Mace supremacy, I've got no flasks and I've got a third of my health. I've got this. And there we go. <laughs> One shot. <laughs> Starts fucking sprinting around everywhere. Oh, that wasn't too bad, was it? For a first attempt with no health and no flasks. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Uh, Vault of the Boreal Valley. So the the lovely the lovely guard dog. The lovely guard dog to to the door, our way out. Yeah, some some sort of growth tried to get out of that, um, get through that door. There's no way <laughs> that that's a dog, Emma. That's a that's a goddamn beast wielding a mace. That's uh, that's insane. All right, we'll do a little bit of a, a little bit of a sprint around. Oh, shit! I forgot that there was a dude right here. Okay, the friends aren't coming up here. Um, I think... Should I equip a- I should equip a ring for now? Damage absorption? Lose nothing upon death? Yeah, That's okay. Shouldn't need to, like... If I can do, if I can get him to halfway without healing, I think, I think we'll be all right. I'm just going to skip over these guards. You continue onward. I will leave you alone. And we'll go through the fog wall. Traverse the fog. All right. Oh, hello. Hello there. He got me with that same attack again. What is he doing? Ice breath? Whoa! Ooh, ice! Ice ability? What is that? Dude. Ice debuff? 
Gotcha. An air of fire. Okay, so this happened last time. Um... This happened last time. Uh, the air of fire. When we destroyed um, that Iodex Gundir boss, so an air of fire destroyed. We didn't get a we didn't get a soul. He didn't give us a soul that first boss. Interestingly enough, but Boreal Valley Vort did. One of the twisted souls steeped in strength. Vort served as an outrider knight, never far from the fleeting dancer. Never far from the fleeting dancer. Used to acquire many souls or transpose to extract its true strength. So when you kill a boss, you get your ember restored. And th there, it isn't like a counter, um, like Dark Souls 1 with humanity, how you could have like multiple. So they're, they're keeping on with doing that. Bonfire lit. Okay, we killed the guard dog. Uh, I'm going to go back to Filing Shrine so we can we can level up. We can go back to our our new Emerald Herald. Oh, she's moved. She's moved. Welcome home, Ashen One. Speak thine heart's desire. Very well. Then touch the darkness within, take none. Let these souls be drawn from their vessels. Manifestations of disparity. Farewell, Ashen One. May the flames guide thee. I have uh, a flask shard that we got last episode as well, so I should be able to reinforce my flask with you. Ah, well, tis good, wasn't it? Yes. Reinforced Estus flask, increasing number of uses. Pretty be careful, I don't want to say. <laughs> so... Now if I rest, I should have five. Yeah. We're back to the standard... We're back to the standard five. <laughs> uh, let me put some weapons away. Oh, I need to re-equip my... I need to re-equip my broadsword. I know. <laughs> <clears throat> Silly me. Gave myself the weaker weapon in that fight, only slightly. Oh, how? Give me a tiny amount of souls. All right. Ashen one. Huh. Very nice, very nice, hanging out with you all once again. What I might do is, while I'm here, before we leave... What is this? Why is this still a thing? Every time I'm in the filing shrine... Are we not allowed out? Is that what this is? Oh no, there we go. I was like, is it updated? So now we can't leave? I don't, yeah, I don't understand. Katana Man is no longer, because we're beaten. Oh, you tricked me, you survived with no health. I thought you were dead. I thought you were dead. That was an ember to get. Cool. That's probably going to be... That's probably going to be it, hey? <laughs> oh, 
Yep, just a couple of items that we missed. Cool. And I guess we'll figure out um, more more traversal more traversal opportunities. And Fire Link Shrine when we when we come back here. Let us travel uh, back to Vort of the Boreal Valley and go through this door. There's no, there's no guard dog, so we're good. We're good. So there's like an ice effect. So I was wondering if like we could get like frozen. Frost. There it is. Yeah, there's literally... So, bleeding, poison, and frost. They've specifically added frost as a, as a status effect. I was wondering if they, they would also be like fire, like burning, or stuff like that. Peer over the cliff and hold up the banner. Oh, that intentional, like, pull back on the camera. Wow. I need the binoculars. It's so interesting to see, like, structures. Like, there's, um... I can see, like, in, the, in like, behind those clouds over there, there's a whole other structure. Some towers of flame here. Broken bridge to like city all the way over there as well. Or are those trees? They look like they could either be trees or buildings. Uh, let's let's raise the let's raise the banner. Just double check that there's uh, nothing else around here. Let's raise the banner. Dudes, who took me to Anno Londo? Wow. <laughs> ah, the undead settlement. So it's it's like oh. So it's like similar vi similar vibes to the um, like Anor Londo, like being transported by those um, by those enemies, uh, like flying demon dudes that uh, took us from the Sen's fortress to Anor Londo, and this is kind of very similar to that. Like undead settlement, undead burg. Uh, and Orlando, High Wall of Lothric. Foot of the High Wall. So we should be finding Loretta around here, I believe. You see a person on that, like a giant person on that tower over there. Now, what the hell is going on down here? Look at this. These ones look like they're alive. They're not like collapsed on the ground and they're facing a dragon. What the fuck?
marriage. Okay. Okay. Release the hounds! Release the hounds, Smithers. While I go sightseeing. Alright, they've shut the gate. Great. Maybe the gate gets opened periodically. Okay, we can go this way. Needs two hits anyway, may as well defend. Oh no, there's a um there's a lever. Oh the lever. Oh, there's also a person. Oh. With a lantern. Great. Well, let's go this way first. What is the deal with this? <laughs> I, I hear you. I heard you. You cheeky. You're too. You're too loud. I heard you munching. Okay, hang on. Maybe they are dead. I thought that these ones were like stood up. <laughs> Please, grant me death. Undo my shackles. <laughs> Is one of them alive? Please grant me death. Undo my shackles. Is one of them alive? It sounded like it was over there because the sound got... It got louder. That dragon's dead as well. This is wild. Like, we're just walking through, like, something... Like, walking through something major that's, like, happened in the past. When there's, like, all these, like... <laughs> like, dead ashen dragons. All of these dudes? I'm wondering if there's one that we can speak to, or whether if we're being requested to, um... Oh, there we go. Oh, you are moving to... There's one that's alive. Oh. Oh, then it's true. A champion of Ash, as I live and breathe. To be in your presence is a great honor. I am Yol of Londor, a pilgrim, as you can see, only... Somehow, I failed to die as was ordained. Well, perhaps my calling lies elsewhere. Say, Champion of Ash, how does the idea of taking me into your service strike you? I was once a sorcerer. Surely I can be of use. I mean, I'll accept your service because this is cool. I'm glad you weren't the dude over the other side and I didn't accidentally kill you. <laughs> Oh, I am honored, truly. I should be dead, yet you have granted me purpose anew. I, Yol of Londor, do solemnly swear myself to you. Londor. Londor. And you talk to an NPC, and then they go, whoop, see ya. And they disappear, they go somewhere. Oh. Maybe they go to Firelink. Like how in Dark Souls 2, you talk to an NPC, and you exhaust their dialogue, and then they go, oh, I'll be going now. And they don't disappear. But when you see them next... They've gone to Majula, so maybe they've taken that same that same 
element from Dark Souls 2, so they're teleporting themselves to Firelink, which is cool. So if we go back there, we should be able to see Grey Rat and Yol of Londor. Can't stop thinking about Gondor when he says that. Yol of Gondor from Minas Tirith. Oh, you're walking away, huh? Why is that? Huh. I mean, you're an enemy. I can I can look onto you. You got a health bar. That's grim. Bonfire. Okay. Sweet. Hello, I'm looking for Loretta. Have you seen her? Wow. <laughs> My God. Hi. Yeah, I was like, what's happening here? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Goodbye. Ah! Oh god! Witness me chucking your friend off the cliff, I'm sorry. Worker hat. Alright, you can go too then. Oh god. Pitchfork? Whee! Oh, you dodged into an enemy. I didn't know you could do that. I got a worker hat. Hat worn by inhabitants of the undead settlement. Official attire for the dissection and burial of undead. Naturally, the ceremonial significance of such work is long forgotten. Indeed, no one could continue to entertain such horrors. I, I really like um, environmental design and concept art like a lot as as also someone who really enjoys art and is um, occasionally an artist as well. I really love really good environmental design and concept art and I just think it would have been an absolute pleasure to like really kind of get fucked up and create some weird shit. Groot, is that you? Like just to create some fucked up shit. Small leather shield. That's a nope from me. I'm hearing a lot of flies. Oh, shit. Never mind. I've fallen down. I've fallen. Yeah. Oh! That's similar to the... Th that's like the thief. Uh, Grey Rat. He's got the same... Ugh! Yeah, look at him! Grey Rat! This is your people, huh? They're weird people crawling around on all fours. Crawling around in the dark. Tell you what, I did like the the whole torch mechanic of Dark Souls 2. And oh, that definitely helped when it was dark. Oh my God, who's getting? How many people are getting turned into trees? Um, is charcoal pine bundle the charcoal pine resin? Yeah. Okay, so it's called a bundle instead of resin now. This is where we were. Let me just go back here before I fell down. Charcoal pine uh, bundle. Okay. Look at all these villages. 
If I wear your hat, guys, can I join your club? Oh god. Repair powder, nice. Alright, I guess we're on our way to conquer a whole entire village then. Is there a normal way out of here or do I have to drop down? Let's go down even further once again. Back down here. Doorway? Doorway. There we go. This is so grim. It's like Dark Souls and Resident Evil Village. Loretta's Bone? What? Old, discoloured human bone with several holes bored into it. A woman's corpse. Oh no! A woman's corpse in the undead settlement was found clutching this bone. Her name was Loretta. Um, I need to go talk to Grey Rat and be like, Sorry mate, Loretta's dead. Holy shit. Loretta's dead. Time to massacre a whole village. You killed Loretta! I didn't even know her, but as if! How could you? How could you do it? How could you? Massacre's entire village. Oh god. Ah! I thought you were going to take your time to get up. Holy shit. You're quick. <laughs> A nice warm hug. That was a nice warm hug. Whoa! Dude. I love that they talk! Cleanse the bastard's curse and it's like laughing at me. I love that! Like, like, and also like chanting, like, speech from like a book. This is like, so creepy and terrifying. I'm obsessed with it. It's so cool. Sorry, just gonna massacre this whole village now, okay? I told you, you killed Loretta, how could you? Dude, you can dodge into enemies, how do they... Maybe it's only very particular types of enemies that you can dodge into, but that's so cool. Oh, nice. Another Esther shard. Oh! Get me out of here! <laughs> Get me up. Leave the pitchforks. God damn. Now I can't wield a longbow. But it says I can't wield it effectively, so maybe I can. We can. Kukri. Nine of those. And 
ember. Throwing knife that causes bleeding damage. Unique weapon originally used by swordsmen of Carthus, but now popular among bandits and thieves. Trousers. I'm, I'm get. I'm getting the full. I'm getting the full get up. I'll blend in in no time. Dude, insane. faster than me, which is always where I keep messing up. The pitchforks attack faster than me, at least. Before we drop down... Where are they all coming from? They just, they just keep on... they just keep on coming. <laughs> what? Oh my god! Oh god! <laughs> oh, horrifying! Great, now avoid all of these, because who knows when they're going to just like pop up and attack you. Does not open from this side. There's a cauldron in there. I think this is that hole that we were just uh, below, we were, we were just above, oh god. I can dodge into you as well. Oh yeah. That's such like a nice and realistic feature of combat. Just dodge into them. Throw them off balance. Yeah, I think we were just up there before. I love the light rays shining through windows and stuff. Look at that. There's another one. Another one of those ladies. What is this? God, it's got... It's got some range on it, doesn't it? <laughs> the floating... The floating candles. I love how sometimes your character just walks into, like, a table and it just explodes. <laughs> Instead of rolling into it. Okay. Face me, coward. Get down from there. Get down from there. Oh, Ooh, he's got a hammer. Oh, this is a ladder. Listen here, you. Oh, boy. Oh. 
Oh shit, don't die. Get down from there. Are you gonna make me fight you up there? Can't see. Yes. 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 <laughs> Dude, don't mess with them. They are. Oh, I hear a twinkly. I am hearing a crystal lizard. There you are. I'm not going to just drop down there though. I need to explore my surroundings first. I will not let myself get. Distracted. Grab this first. See if there's a way, another way around to that sparkling crystal lizard. Alright, I, th I have a, I have a feeling that those areas should link around, so I should be able to drop down here and get this lizard. Ooh, or maybe I should try and get onto this platform. Ah, lizard's already running away. That's fine. Rusted coin. Goodbye, lizard. It was the lizard or the coin. to live on in that, in that house. The rent would be cheap. Oh, hello. Hello. Not really in a spot that I'd expect it to be, but there it is. Dilapidated bridge. Right, um, now that we've found a new place, let's go back to the Filing Shrine. I'm going to see if our new friends are here. Uh, Grey Rat and... Ah, uh, uh, that dude. <laughs> that dude. Uh, Londor man. I already forgot his first name. Um, because I'm assuming that's what all the additional, like, all these additional, like, areas must be. Is it? Yes. They do come here to chill out. Alright, I've got news for you, sir. Oh, hello, you're back. And in one piece. Well, now it's time I do my part. Whatever trinket you need, speak up. Just don't ask me where I got them. <laughs> mm. A rope firebomb. Thief outfit. I think I might just level up. But we can sell to anyone, which is really cool. So I like how they've like added that ability. That's nice. Do me a favor and don't forget our promise. Give this ring to old Loretta at the base of the high wall. A nuisance, I know. But it will help me tie up some loose ends. Do me a favor and give a new... Heavens, she was already dead. Thank you. I'm not surprised, though. Almost a relief, really. You can keep the ring. As... Well... A little trinket of thanks, I suppose. You can keep us. <laughs> Goodbye. And stay safe. Oh, this place is a bore. What good is thievery if you've nowhere to go? 
Mm. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so we we gifted the ring. So we'll, we'll, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll equip it. We'll equip it. Oh, hang on. So pledge oneself to the way of the blue covenant. So I can, I can put that in a little covenant slot. Playing offline, however. So, oh, and there's our other friend. There you go. His name, what did he say? His name was like. Was it your of Londor? Oh, our champion of ash. Welcome home. This pilgrim, with a debt in death, hardly deserves to behold this divine flame. And I never would have had you not taken me into your service. I thank you dearly for this and assure you of my leal service. Yol of Londor. Yor of Londor. Le Yol. Draw out true strength. And he sells sorceries, so we're probably not going to really engage with him that much, because he's basically... Um, we're not going to really be doing any of this, so that's okay. Then shall we begin? What does Bear draw out true strength the dark sign. Let your true strength shine. Bring out true strength. Oh. What's happening here? He's giving us a free level up? No, no souls required? Huh. I like that there's a luck ability. Like a, a luck attribute. Governing item discovery. Resistance to curses. Yeah. It's always nice when a game, like an RPG uses like luck. Um, I think I'm going to give myself some more stamina. He gave us a free level up. As I have said, I was once a sorcerer. Alas, the magic of Londor is a far cry from the wonders of Vinheim. But I can teach you what I know. Vinheim. Perhaps, more importantly, I believe that I can help tease out your true strength. We pilgrims of Londor are keenly aware that those branded by the dark sign possess something quite special. Beckon. As I have said, a lot, but uh, I'm a wee pilot though. Be safe, champion of Ash. Talks about like Vinheim, like old man Logan, like was it the Vinheim, the Vinheim school. So cool. Confirmation that uh, people that we're going to be fighting along the way once they disappear, they will be like appearing at the at the firelink shrine so that's that's very cool okay uh, i'm actually going to level up i have souls um and i'm going to cash in the ones that i'm holding on to as well so it's time for me to level up welcome home i should speak very well. Then touch taken. Um, I think our equip load is is fine. Like we're under seventy percent. I'm not sure if they're they're using the same thing from Dark Souls Two, where seventy percent is where we start to fat roll. But we're gonna put another point into strength and another point into endurance. Farewell, Ashen One. May the fl Cool. Okay, let's let's proceed. Oh, actually, hold on. Wait a minute. We got another Estus uh, shard, didn't we? In the village. Andre. Ah, tis good, wasn't he? Nice. Pretty big. 
sweet. And now I'll leave. You can always keep that in mind. And then this is this will make like eventually if we want to start using that shield to do those special moves that use FP, we can split between the Estus uh, and the Ashen Flask. Um a bit easier. Let's go back to the dilapidated bridge. So it was a cool little like <clears throat> quick resolution to that side questy thing for uh for Grey Rat. Ooh, hang on. Lizard. Oh, hang on. Oh, never mind, because we're down. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> I think I because we've dropped down here. I have to run around to get to the lizard. Oh well. I'll eventually get him. Oh, hello. Now... Oh god, you're coming for me too. Are you? No? Okay. Just gotta check out this room first, just to make sure... And then that takes us here. Yep. Cool. What is this? Is that like a giant, uh, like a giant bone saw? <laughs> yeah, it's a hair comb. Yep, that's a giant bone saw. Oh my god. Can't backstab because of the thing on the back. Aggressive! Oh my god. What kind of village is this? This is insane. Oh, okay. What the fuck was that? Oh! What the fuck? Whoa! Oh, hang on. Oh! It's that dude over there! I saw- oh, we saw this guy ages ago, remember? When we first got here, I went, oh, there's a big dude over there. <laughs> I was like, surely not. That surely that's a statue. There's a fucking dude on that pillar. That's what all of this is. They are his arrows. Holy shit. You guys are brave. Ah! You guys are brave for hanging out here. Go on then. I want to see you do it. My God, <laughs> dude, the sh the shock waves. Look how many he's killed just for target practice. Oh my God, young white branch, young white branch. I'm gonna die. Fucking God, get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> Oh, that dude's dead. I got this. Fire gem! How do I get up there? Without getting wrecked by these goddamn arrows. Oh my god. Ah! Leave me alone. Jesus. What just happened? Is he just destroying the room above me? Jesus. Oops. 
Who is this guy? Who is this guy? Can he chill out? Can I make this jump? Maybe? No. Arrows of a giant rain down besides the light bridge. Undead bone shot. Oh, no. <laughs> ah! He didn't start the. He didn't start the sprint. He didn't start the sprint. I didn't have enough run. I didn't even have enough room to run. Oh my god! All right, hang on. Um. Let's travel back quickly because we got. And I need to read the description of this white branch. Ferret and flash sword. So you can only burn the undead bone shard at the main bonfire. Estus flask plus one. Ooh. Bonfire level two. Wait a minute. Unless Firelink Shrine is um, automatically level two, shouldn't it be level one? Okay, back to the dilapidated bridge. There's a couple of things that I am I, I am not yet sure of, which is when I randomly get filled up with flasks when I have none, and. Why is uh, the Firelink Shrine Bonfire Level 2? There's also a whole other pathway down here next to the bonfire. That does not open from this side, naturally. Huh, there's an item down there that we could probably get later on that we've missed. How'd you get me from there? Oh, wait, I'm kind of... You recover... Enemies recover so quickly. In this, in this one. I should probably be reinforcing... Because I've got a lot of Titanite shards. I should probably be... Next time we go to Firelink, I will reinforce my broadsword, maybe. But realistically, I've kind of been saving everything for when I eventually get a greatsword. Trying to let this dude do the work for me. Nice. Oh! Oh! What the hell is going on? A cleric outfit. Oh, you're huge! You got a giant sword. Oh, you don't even know how to use it. This is so chaotic. Mortician's ashes. All right, are we, am I? Is it? Am I safe? Am I secret? Let me have a look at what I got. <laughs> 
Fire gem. Infused to create a fire weapon. Hell yeah. Mortician's ashes. Shrine handmade. Ooh, the shrine handmade will prepare new items. Umbral, ah, oh, it's Umbral Ash, right. Umbral Ash of a resident of the Undead Settlement who made a living burying corpses. With this, the Shrine Handmaid will prepare new items. Uh, when did we get a Dark Sigil? <laughs> when did we just get a Dark Sigil? Maybe that was with the Cleric gear that we just picked up. A black gaping hole in the flesh that resembles the brand of an undead. The darkness of humanity seeps from this bottomless pitch black hole, the gap filled by the accumulation of the curse. The dark sigil will never heal, but there is a tale told by the firekeeper who returned of a firekeeper who returned from the abyss and brought great comfort to a bearer of the curse. Accumulates curse. I have a dark sigil. Number held, one of eight. Uh, I don't know what that means. I guess maybe we've got unlucky and we just picked this up, or we've accumulated, like something has happened to us that it's now going to accumulate curse. not there before. Uh, we got a blue wooden shield. Cleric hat. So we've got cleric robes. Blue robe travelers were entrusted with a duty. They bore large covers on their backs to ensure that they would not become seed beds for spreading darkness. Young white branch, used to transform into something which blends into the surroundings. Little dusks, first sorcerer's staff, eventually became a seedling. And then three white birch saplings, the young branch is said to still contain echoes of little dusks' capriciousness. Little dusks, first sorcerer's staff. Um, is it dusk? Um, isn't that... Uh, dusk of Ulaseel? That's Dusk of Ulaseel, right? Little Dusk's first sorcerer's staff. So we transform into something which blends into the surroundings. Oh no, so there is Charcoal Pine Resin and there's a Charcoal Pine Bundle. Temporarily applies fire. Quickly applies fire. It does not last for long, can be used in inventive ways. Okay. Alright, when we go back to Firelink, we can see the handmaiden for the with the ashes. We can see Andre to do some reinforcement. God damn. Rubbish. In terms of getting to this. I think we do have to, we must be able to make the jump. This dude is going to kill me, for sure. One of these days. Him. 
This is... Uh, okay. Quite pretty. We got a doorway, we got a open courtyard. Illusory wall? Nope. Okay. And then we get a face full of arrow from that dude. Great curse ridden tree ahead. Game, you spoiled it. A transporting kiln lies within the belly. A transposing kiln lies within the belly. What? The Dark Soul, the in game messages left by the developers are more confusing than player led messages. At least I can understand tongue butthole. One hell of a hammer. Oh! Oops! I thought that I would be able to dodge through it and I failed spectacularly. Poor child. Come to me. Poor child, come to me. Enemies are no joke, dude. I don't know why I thought that was an, even an option. Oh my god. Get me the hell out of here. I'm still just waiting to just be, like, destroyed by an arrow. Like, at least what I can do, and maybe something that I might put on my tool belt. Uh, is an ember. I think I might also put that on here. So that way instead of, I can just go, whoop, use it, get out of there. Tool belt's actually a really nice addition. I guess the was the archer up there on that tower. Yeah, ember restored. Get my health back. need to remember that there's a pathway to go back through there, so I'm just wondering if maybe I should... If maybe I should go back and go that way first, and instead of going through the doorway... Oh! That is not a bone saw. What is that? Oh! You're gonna crush me with a pot! <laughs> you're gonna crush me with a pot! Instead. Ah, he got me. Oh, of course you would survive with no health. Jesus. Oh, I was being reckless. Ooh. Oh. Who? Where? You. 
Let me investigate my environment. Another door. A shield. Naturally. Alright, there's a few of you up there. Oh, you're still throwing them at me. Okay. You're really trying to nail that point home of, get the fuck out. Leave me alone. Alright, we're gonna go back this way. See what was down this way before the door was opened, because who knows? This kind of screams like this screams boss arena to me. Do you see that thing? This weird growth. I don't feel I don't feel good about this. This is like boss arena. And I've got no healing items once again. Like why does that look like it's gonna stand up? It looks like it's got legs. It oh my god, it's moving. It's breathing. Whoop! Look, I entered here peacefully. You're the one who had to strike me. Like the creaking noises. Oh my god. You are a boss. Gr curse rotted great wood. Okay. He's got leg powers. Go for the nutsack. Get crushed by the nutsack. <gasps> Whoa, he spawns enemies! You get out of that wall. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I'm getting. Oh. <laughs> he does a butt slam. Oh. doesn't do anything to him. <laughs> he's immune to fire bombs. Well. Okay, if he's immune to fire, I'm going to assume he's also going to be immune to, um... Oh, God. I also assume he's going to be immune to, um... Resin? Like, the fire resin? Oh, my God. How many people does he keep spawning in? Oh, I'm dead. There we go. There was no way I was going to figure that out. He's strong! Curse... Curse rotted... Great wood. Well, there you go. I was like, oh, who knows? Maybe it's a bonfire that I missed. And I mean, I, I assume it, it would actually turn into a bonfire, because so far the bosses we've defeated become... 
uh, bonfire spots, which is cool. Don't mind me, everybody. Whoa! <laughs> what the fuck? How did he get up there? Is it possible to learn this power? What the fuck? Okay. Like, I feel like, I feel like we, we can do it. I also feel like it'll be tough. We'll, we'll try see if Charcoal Pine Bundle actually does anything. Resin says temporarily, um, and Bundle says quickly. It does not last for long. And then temporarily. So I wonder if, because it's quicker, it actually lasts even less time than the resin. Alright, we at least know what we're getting into this time. I was like, oh, is this guy just going to be, like, cool looking in the environment? No, he is, he is boss. He is boss, and he will kill. These guys out of the way. Okay. Now I'm gonna apply this to the weapon and see what fire does. Go for the nutsack! It actually, we actually do need to go for the nutsack. It reacts to being hit. Oh my god! It's only the nutsack, right? Yep, it's the nutsack. That's fucking hilarious. Okay, now what? Oh, he's got weak points. Oh, I see. I see. Whoa! What the fuck? <laughs> what in the world? Oh my god. <laughs> oh no, I've fallen so far down. How did that, how is that? I love that that's not a death. What the? There's an arm coming out of you. There's an arm coming out of you. Give me your nuts. I want the nutsack. <laughs> this is disgusting. Give me the nutsack. I must cut them off. Can I attack your hands? Yes. Yes. Oh my god. Oh, it's... Ah! Get me out of the pool. Get me out of the... Get me out of the spicy water. I don't want it. Why? I must get you out of there. I must free you. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? This is so bizarre. Oh, his arm goes around the back. that juice that comes out of him. Oh, that's the transposing kiln which lies in the belly. Right. That's what that is. That's what that is. Uh <laughs> oh my god.
War God Wooden Shield. Interesting that it gives you a... Oh. Interesting that it gives you a Homeward Bone. Uh, next to a bonfire as well. This guy was not as lucky. Uh, to survive his fight with the with the cursed great wood. Oh my! Some fucking that's just, that was disgusting. Wipe out the nutsack, and the rest will follow. Pit of hollows. Offer vertebra shackle. I don't think we have one. A sacrificial altar. Well, that was one hell of a drop. I'm actually shocked. Like, I guess because it's in the middle of a boss fight, like, it makes sense for you to still have to survive it. But I just find it hilarious that this is, like, you didn't, we didn't die from that fall. <laughs> that was disgusting. So firebombs would have worked if we were actually aiming for the, the for the weak points. I didn't know that it was a weak point. I was like, as soon as I saw it, I was like, it's funny because the immature part of me was like, oh my god, we need to go for the nuts. <laughs> like, right away. Oh my god. Alright, uh, I'm going to take this opportunity to um, take us back to, to Firelink. Where I can... Um, <laughs> Or I can reinforce a weapon with Andre and give um, give the handmaiden these ashes. Welcome home. Speak very well. Then touch the dark taken. Um. Ooh, hang on. There we go. Hollowing. The degree to which this character is cursed, the character will turn hollow if the curse grows too severe. So this is what that thing that I have on my, um, like similar to the curse of the undead thing, how it's like on our back. So that's the item. So that's this item that we have, the key item, the dark sigil. So it's accumulating a, a curse, like a hollowing curse. So the transposing kiln that we got, an old transposing kiln from Corland, from Corland, crafted with stitched crystal lizard hide, give to Ludleth, Lord of Cinder, to conduct soul transposition. This kiln can transpose twisted souls to craft special items with their concentrated essence, deemed forbidden by those unable to make proper use of it. So Ludleth is like the boss soul vendor. Interesting. Uh, let's read this. Uh, let's read the. Oh, it's a it's a different looking soul too. Soul of the rotted great wood. Ever since its establishment, all manner of curses have managed to seep into the undead settlement. The worst of them were sealed away inside a spirit tree, but eventually the curses took their toll. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, oh, how gracious passing fine ash thou hast given. Let this ash bestow nourishment. I only hope these new wares content thee. <laughs> oh, so gets a new stack of, um, another stack of embers to buy, because obviously the limited inventory space. Human pine resin? It's called human pine resin, applies dark to right hand weapon. Human. Normally used in the undead settlement for preservation and burials, but can mature into this state, becoming a valuable substance used in a certain ceremony. Often seen it for trade at exorbitant, uh, exorbitant prices. Ooh, a grave key. Key to the barred door leading from the sewer below the undead settlement to a moist grave. The grave, which no longer receives visitors, was once the site of a statue of Velka, goddess of sin, and was believed to pardon wrongdoing and lift curses. And lift curses! Give me that grave key. Key to the barred door leading from the sewer below the undead settlement. 
So once we go into some sewers below the undead settlement, we'll be able to go to a moist grave. And we still need to buy this one at some point. Decrepit tower behind Firelink, which leads to the bell tower. So this was, I guess this was the thing that the old, that katana wielding naked man was guarding. Except that said, it was, it doesn't open from this side. So I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe not. Talisman, nice. Cool, so, is that a torch as well? Oh, they do have the, they do have the torch. A simple makeshift torch made from an oily rag wrapped around the end of a stick. Torches such as these are the easiest way to illuminate one's surroundings, but their use comes at the cost of occupying a hand that would otherwise be free. We can buy an infinite amount of them. <laughs> Is there a time limit, like with Dark Souls 2? Cool, we just have a torch as a weapon. Uh, that's awesome. Alright, we I'm glad we okay, I'm glad we have a torch. That's sick. Ah, tis good, wasn't he? Um I need to reinforce. I'm gonna reinforce finally. Um, we have it costs titanite shards, doesn't it? I can't see because it just says required souls. Oh no, hang on, titanite shard right above it. Required items, titanite shard two. I assume we'll be kind of using the we'll be using this broadsword for for a little while, so. Only reinforce it twice anyway. Can reinforce the torch. Um, so there's no reinforcing armor, so I think they've actually. Unless someone else does that, I don't think there's uh, armor reinforcement, which was never something that I really messed around with anyway. So we can also infuse the broadsword if we want. A refined broadsword. A raw broadsword. Or a fire broadsword. Things to think about, but I will not uh, I'll not be pursuing that at this time. Okay, be careful, I don't want... Now, Ludleth. Give him this transposing kiln. Fret not, fret not. My feet are here firmly planted. Huh? For I am alone. <laughs> what feet? Is my throne. What feet? Give transposing kiln. Oh, belike it is. A transposing kiln in thy possession. Seen better days, but methinks it shall suffice. Now, bring to me a twisted soul. Transposition is the art of extracting and coalescing the essence of a soul. In transposing a twisted soul, its true power transferred to thee. Thy purpose is to seek lords and slay them. What's to fear in a little transposition now? Begin transposition. Hollow Slayer Greatsword from the soul of the rotted Greatwood. A great sword! We need to put up, we need to put some more points in dexterity. There we go. Uh, Vort's Great Hammer. Arstor's Spear and Pontiff's Left Eye. A ring recovers HP with successive attacks. Ooh, I actually really think that's cool. All right, let's read the lore on these weapons. Greatsword used for a lifetime by a masked knight harbors the fears that lurk within the minds of hollows and is particularly effective against them. Bestowed to a proper mirror knight long ago, two hand to execute special sword techniques, skill, stance, 
While in stance, use normal attack to break a foe's guard from below, and strong attack to slash upwards with a forward lunge. So this will use, that will use FP. So those are the attacks that we saw before with like the sword um, icon shield. Great hammer wielded by Vort, the outrider knight of the Boreal Valley. Weapon is imbued with frost and causes frostbite. Frost accumulates in the body, causing frostbite, which saps one's health, lowers absorption, and slows stamina recovery. Perseverance skill. I love this so much. Anchor weapon in earth to temporarily boost poise. Damage reduced while activated. Vort's great hammer um, costs zero, which is very interesting, but then these ones cost a thousand. Arstor's Spear, one of the curses that festered within the belly of the Greatwood and a terrible weapon favoured by Earl Arstor the Impaler. The spear is enwreathed in rotten, heavily poisonous meat. Defeating foes restores HP. Shield Splitter skill, take a large step forward and make a single focus thrust to puncture enemy shields and inflict damage. Pontiff's Left Eye. Bewitched ring that Pontiff uh, Sullivan bestowed upon his knights. Knights who peer into the Black Orb are lured into battles of death, transformed into frenzied beasts. No wonder the Pontiff only provides these rings to those dispatched to foreign lands. Um, I think we're definitely going to get the left eye from this soul instead of the Great Hammer. I also love that instantly there's two souls that we have and I also already want to convert both of them. In previous Dark Souls games we have held on to um, boss souls for quite a while sometimes and only rarely cashed them in so this is cool. So we're going to get Pontiff's left eye and we're going to get the Hollow Slayer uh, great sword as well. We'll level up some dexterity. Hollow Slayer great sword. Nice. Actually, cash them Knows in. Thou of five throne, the age I may be. Now, now. Okay. Hello. Welcome home. Speak that. Very then tough hick. Dexterity time. And then I can wield a great sword. It's about time anyway. Farewell, may the Now hang on, we're over seventy percent. Yeah, we fat rolling now. Okay. Take that shield off. This doesn't weigh anything, does it? As long as I'm under 70%, Welcome that's fine. Um, oh my god, it's, <laughs> it's automatically on... Um, it's automatically on no, so I keep pressing it wrong. I really do like the 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 inventory. The the UI for Dark Souls 3 is very nice. Welcome home. Speak very well. Then touch take nourish. Let these souls okay. Dex at 15. So we've got three more and then I can wield that great sword. Wonderful. Alright, with this one guys, we are going to now bring this second episode of Dark Souls 3 uh, to a close. We've been exploring the undead settlement and defeated uh, a couple a couple of bosses and spent their great swords. Uh, spent their great swords? Spent their great souls? They're not even really great souls, they're twisted souls this time around. Um, defeating the Heirs of Fire. Super, super interesting. Uh, these worlds are fascinating to me. I'm having such a, such a great time. Uh, this is uh, an incredible, incredible game. I can't wait to continue, so we will uh, travel back uh, to that previous area and make our way through the Undead Settlement some more to find out um, where we need to go in new areas, but I'm having a blast. I really hope you guys are too. Uh, I can't wait to see you in the next episode uh, where we'll proceed through the Undead Settlement. I'll see you then.